welcome, greetings and salutations to episode 9 of the survival world. In today's video, we will be making a cactus farm. Mostly because I want green dye and because I can use the cactus to make bone meal. The area that I'm going to build the cactus farm is right over here. But something that I didn't quite think of is I'm using green glass to surround the farm, which means I'm going to need cactus to build slash finish the cactus farm. And that also means that the building process is taking twice as long as what it usually would take. After I placed the last few glass that I had that was dyed, I really needed to start growing some cactus in this cactus farm. Luckily, it's a very easy design. It is a bit slower. You can make other farms that are a lot faster. And if it's too slow, I can always just add more and more layers on top of these. I did notice while I was building this farm that some of the cactus pieces were being destroyed by the other cactuses. Luckily, I'm not going to need much cactus, so if I lose a little bit of cactus pieces, it's not going to change much. After placing in all the sand and the cactuses and the fence posts to break all the cactus, I just had to kind of sit there and wait for all the glass to smelt and the cactuses to smelt into green dye. After placing in all the glass and making sure that everything works the way that it should, I did decide that I'm going to do exactly what I did with the villager hall. In other words, I'm going to surround this with strip spruce and make it into a tree stump. Of course, I'm not going to show the whole process since in the last episode, which was episode 8, I did go into a bit more detail of how I built it and I did say, I think in the last one, that I'm not going to give the reason yet for why these are cut off because there is a story behind it. After I built it up 5 blocks, I decided that I wanted to make the entrance look as if the bark was chipped away, just like in the other stump that I built above the villager hall over there. But unlike last time, I'm not going to finish the stump in this video. What I am going to do though is build a tree in front of the starter house. The tree design that I settled on is the same one that I used by the stump above the villager trading hall. Which means for a tree all that I'm going to use is stripped spruce logs, azalea and mangrove leaves. Since I built this tree design before and it wasn't my first time building it, this tree did come out better than the other one by the stump. It just looked a bit more natural and the leaf placement made a bit more sense and I also, after watching a few other people build trees, I left some air blocks between the leaves so it, it would look a bit more airy and a bit more like a real tree. And of course I used the azalea leaves to look as if the sun was hitting the leaves on top and not the leaves on the bottom. After I placed in all the leaves, to make it a bit more spawn proof around the starter base, I added in a few lanterns into the tree. And of course, the lanterns did make the tree look a bit more cozy and a little bit more homey. I really love how this tree came out. Of course, with everything that I built, there's always room for improvement. And with this tree, there is a few things that I did change later on. But how it looks now... I think it really fits with the, the starter house and the stump that I built. These trees that I'm building are very inspired by the dark oak trees and the mangrove trees that are in real life and the places that they grow. To make this starter area look a bit more overgrown, I am going to add 5 trees. There's going to be 2 by the storage room one by the entrance of the farm and the other one is going to be by the backyard of the starter house. These trees that I'm going to build here are going to be more or less the same than the other one that I built but they are going to be different heights and widths. But I'm not going to finish them in this episode. 
I will finish them in later episodes when I do a bit more of decoration around the starter base. After thinking for a while of how I can add detail to the starter area, it came to me that mushrooms do grow on trees. So I used mangrove slabs and buttons to make an illusion of mushrooms growing on the stumps that I built. I also decided to add a few that are growing on the ground, which for the stem I just used iron bars and for the top the mangrove that I was using on the trees. I did try to make some of the mushrooms different sizes and shapes, which made it just look a bit more alive and detailed than what it was before. I also decided to gather all the spore blossoms that I have, even those that I have placed into buildings, and place them just on the trees. This made the trees look as if they were flowering and as if they were alive with the particles coming off of them. Last episode I built a tree on top of this stump by the villager trading hall, but I didn't show it at all in that episode. But I wanted to build a tree here because it seemed a bit bare on this side, so the tree gave it a bit more detail. And I of course added the mushrooms around the stump that I also didn't show footage of. All that I had left to do was add in the leaves and the spore blossoms and a few other details around this stump. And that is all for today's episode. In the next few episodes there are going to be very big projects that I'm working on and I'm very excited to show you guys what's going to happen in the next few episodes. I do thank you for everyone who have watched till the end and if you enjoyed this video please give it a like and while you're down there please consider subscribing. Thank you for watching and remember to rest, have a nice day and to take care of yourself.